EastEnders spoilers, Rainy Cross and Phil Mitchell working together against Max. EastEnders Rainy Cross and Max Branning's sham marriage hasn't been completely smooth sailing, unsurprisingly, but tonight's episode could have revealed yet another layer of deceit. This evening's installment of EastEnders saw Phil Mitchell, played by Steve McFadden, confront Max, Jake Wood, over some dodgy goings on at the car lot, but was Rainy, Tanya Franks, the one behind it all? Phil managed to convince Robbie Jackson, Dean Gaffney, to infiltrate his own uncle's company as the road sweeper went in search of the documents being kept inside the car lot office on the BBC soap. The Mitchell brother wanted to get the dirt on Max so he could hold something against him and his efforts proved to be successful. Max later found Phil waiting for him in the office where he presented the evidence. Phil menaced, take a look, receipts for category C motors. Do you know what they are? Course you do. Yeah well I'm not selling dodgy motors, Max declared. Well that's not what that says. You've been getting damaged cars, belly patching them up and selling them on as proper safe and decent motors, Phil retorted. That's been planted all that, Max insisted. Phil then said he wanted to talk business with Max, so naturally got down to a little bit of blackmail. So I'm only going to take 20% commission on every sale you make and the arches will do all the repair work and mows from now on. For top dollar of course, he said. Max refused, but it didn't really look like he had a choice. Before Phil left he was quick to take a swipe at Rainey. As he said, oh, and by the way, you married wrong un. Although, it transpired it was in fact Rainey who had been buying the cheap cars and Max was furious. She pleaded, you told me to work harder, Max, so I was just trying to make your business look good. The pair had already had a disastrous meeting with one of baby Abby Branning's social workers earlier in the day and Max was at breaking point. Can you understand? If there ain't a business, there ain't gonna be a baby, he exclaimed. He then stormed out as Rainey was left looking into the distance. However, it looks as though there could be more to the whole arrangement than meets the eye. Rainey is out to make some quick cash, so she might have teamed up with Phil to extort Max. She was the one to leave the documents in the office and it seems as though someone who had been a lifelong scammer would take greater care with leaving evidence where it could be found. Have the old lovers reunited to make a fool out of Max?